say, Marcela? Hi, today we have two surprises for you. Yes, it's true. The first one is that today we're going to show you how to do this beautiful and spectacular hairstyle. When we go out to a shopping center, to school, everybody says something about it, everybody takes photos, and many subscribers want to know how to do this gorgeous hairstyle. The second surprise is to tell you that I'm going to start a new channel. You can find the link in the description box and you can go there by clicking here. In there, I'm going to show you how to do hairstyles on yourself. I'm going to show you some recipes, nail art, and well, hope you like it and subscribe to my new channel. Okay, let's start now with the hairstyle. Today we're going to need gel, a comb, a needle, one of the biggest, elastic pants, a regular pants, and a cup of water. I'm going to use the water to wet my hands and wet the hair when I feel it's a little dry. I'm not going to stop each time that I do this, but this is what you have to use it for. Okay, split the hair, doing a big headband and hold the rest of the hair. Now split the headband for one of the sides and hold this part of the hair with an elastic band. For the other side, we're going to do a very thin split in the front of the headband. Good. And my daughter has bangs. But for people who doesn't, you can make the split just a little bit closer to the face. Okay? And no problem. Perfect. Hold this part with an elastic band. And I'm going to do the same thing in the back of the headband. A very thin split and hold this part with an elastic band. For the middle part, we're going to start applying gel generously. Don't be afraid to do it and you can use a comb and your hands as well. Um, you have to comb this part many many times until you feel the hair is smooth and firm. Okay, when the hair is completely straight, we're going to hold this part with an elastic band at the end. Now take off the elastic bands from the front and back part and apply gel generously as well on both of the sides. Now we're going to take a small and tiny piece of hair from the back part, split it into three sections and we're going to start doing a dodge braid. You have to add in the hair just from the first stitch of the braid. Add hair from the front, perfect, and then cross the outside strands under the middle one and add hair again from the back then from the front. It's very important that you add the hair from the back part or the hair is going to be loose when we're going to do the headband. Keep braiding and now we have to add hair again. Add the hair from the back and from the front. Again cross the strands and now add hair from the back part and from the front. This part is so repetitive and easy, you have to keep braiding doing the same steps all the time. So we're going to keep braiding, adding the hair, and when you finish you have to hold the braid with an elastic band. to do four or five more stitches and hold the braid with an elastic band. 
Now take the hair from the other side and we're going to split this part taking a small and tiny section of hair where we started the headband. And now hold this part of the hair again. Now take this section of hair, split it into two sections and I'm going to apply a little bit of yell and split this part into three strands. Take the first strand and apply gel generously. Come the strand. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. We're going to pass the needle underneath the first section as you can see here and now the needle is going to go out by the left side of the strand that we are stitching I stopped here so you can see the detail now pull the needle and we're going to hold the hair just a little bit not too strong and we're going to pass the needle underneath the second section this time the needle is going out by the right side of the strand that we are stitching. But you always have to turn the needle by the left side and then by the right side. Now pull the needle, hold the hair, hold the strand and we're going to pass it underneath the third section and now it's going out by the left side of the strand that we are stitching again. Ok, pull the needle, hold the hair and pass the needle again underneath this section and it's going out and now by the right side of the strand ok, pull the needle and we're going to do the same thing pass the needle underneath the section going out by the left side now going out by the right side and again, this time by the left now by the right side then by the left again by the right side and always you have to turn the needle to going out from one side first and then by the other side the second time ok we almost finished with the first trend this is the last part and now we're going to hold this strand with a bobby pin so it won't be lost. We're going to take the second strand now. Apply gel as well in this strand. Comb it. And now we're going to pass the hair through the loop of the needle. With the first strand, we started pulling out the needle by the left side of the strand so this time we're going to start pulling out the needle by the left side ok, now hold the strand a little bit pass the needle underneath the second section and pull the needle by the left side as we did with the first strand, we're going to turn the sides so this time is by the left side so now by the right side again by the left side and by the right side in here we can see now how we're getting the pattern we want and yes looks amazing I wanted to do all the first and second strand so you can see in detail how is the complete pattern now we almost finished with the second strand pass the needle by the left side and finish with the right side perfect now we're going to hold this strand with the bobby pin as well and we're going to start with the third strand we're going to apply gel again and take the needle pass the hair through the loop and this time pass the needle by the left side now by the right side and you have to keep braiding turning the sides always ok when we finish with this strand you have to take the other section of hair and follow the same steps we did with the first half in here I went ahead and finished all the headband and now you have to take off all the elastics 
We are going to take now a small and tiny section of hair from the middle part. Split it into three sections and we're going to do a dodge braid here, adding the strands of the headband that we left out. When you finish adding the strands, you can do three or four more stitches of the braid and then you're going to join it with the other braid. All you have to do is hold them both with an elastic band. For the other section of hair, we're going to do a lace braid. I'm not going to stop and explain it, but it's so easy. All you have to do is add in hair from one side and hold the braid with an elastic band just where you finish adding the hair. Finish, take off the clip and let down the rest of the hair. And this is the final result. And this is the final result. Looks gorgeous, looks amazing. This headband is really beautiful. Thumbs up if you like this video. Hope you try it. And please leave us your comments down below. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. See you next time. Bye guys. Bye.